Toads are only a few feet tall, so they don't take up too much face. Welcome back to Mario Galaxy 2. Glad you're still doing that. <laughs> I'm not. Me too. But, um, what are we doing today? This is a One Galaxy video. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites, and one that was I was uh, pleasantly surprised they included in the game. Hmm, I wonder what this could possibly be. Why do I have this third guest in for this one video, I wonder? Hmm. Uh? Why, this is a little place called Throwback Galaxy, which, from afar, may not look too familiar. I've certainly oh. never seen anything like it. No, I'm not recognizing it. Is it is it like a Zelda dungeon? It hmm. might. I'm still not seeing it. How about now? I don't know. How, how about now? Uh... <laughs> For the love of God, how about now? I don't know, this gigantic flyby just uh, isn't doing it for me. <laughs> Welcome to Womp's Fortress from Super Mario 64. Oh, oh that's it. That's, okay. yes, that is exactly what I was about to say. You would normally need one star to come here. <laughs> I got 91 of them. Oh, dear. A little bit of an overachiever, I see. A little bit. So what is it like when you have a galaxy that's a throwback from a previous game that doesn't have galaxy-like mechanics? Hmm. Easy? A little bit. Yeah. It is different in that there are no warp stars that'll take you from one little tiny planetoid to another. This is actually one just big space for the most part. Maybe you can yeah. do something to make it a little harder on yourself. Some kind of self-imposed condition? Something like that. Or maybe Argon Matrix could do it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. maybe. He's, he, that's kind of more his. Uh oh. Oh, looks like the game's imposing a challenge on you. It is. <laughs> oh, two Goombas? Not sure if you could take this. Heavens to Betsy. <laughs> and Luigi, no less, too. Vickers, do you find playing as Luigi more challenging? Hmm, maybe a little bit. Yeah, have you played the Galaxy games? I have, yes. Both? Uh, yes. Nice. So where do you stand in the is one or two superior argument? Oh, is this this is this a big debate here? <laughs> it, it, it maybe a few pages in the thread here and there. Oh, perfect. I actually like two a lot more. Thank you. If it was still if if Russia were still around, like you know, it was the Cold War, that would set off the nuclear thing. That's right. That the would nuclear be thing. That's what it's called, actually. It's the nuclear thing. Mm, makes sense. So, Vickus, uh, being a Mario 64 expert, which you obviously are now, do you mm -hmm. notice any major differences in how the levels are laid out? Like, this one in particular, or just in general? Just this one compared to the Womp's Fortress from Mario 64. Like, it has those wet, dry world enemies, which I don't think were there before. Right. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It's kind of interesting, because it feels like it's smaller, like, somehow. I don't know if that's just, like, the way that Galaxy lays out levels to be, like, huge, sprawling, flying around space kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's most but... likely it. Mm. You go back and play Mario 64 again, and I bet a lot of the places feel pretty tiny, mm -hmm. looking back. And some feel kind of huge. Uh, uh, please be quiet. For... It's taking a while. Just shut, shut. Wow, that was definitely worth 3 one up. <laughs> Isn't it, though? I feel like you gotta respect the Easter eggs in the game. That's a bit of an over-reward, honestly. Easter eggs. One thing I don't remember, the giant looming black hole in Super Mario 64. That is another difference. Hmm. And there that Comet Medal is now, that's where I believe the third, I wanna say third star of Womp's Fortress was. Okay. Sounds about right. Except you had to, like, cannon over to it. Yeah, that was right. What is he, Game Facts? He's not gonna remember that. Oh, what do you mean the fourth star? Everybody remembers Mario 64. Some people do. I believe you need star number 67. <laughs> Speaking of cannon, you may have noticed we did pass by the cannon device earlier. You mean the device that was part of the... The hole. The device formerly known as cannon. The entryway. I say that because... Because <laughs> you're, you're so good because at Because there's no actual cannon. Oh! Uh -oh. What? Nice. Excuse me, a star cannon. <laughs> well, that hardly counts. Well, <laughs> I guess they, I mean, there are cannons in this game, but I guess having it in this particular galaxy would have been too weird. Mm -hmm. Kind of silly, really. Yeah. It wouldn't have been cannon. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. So Vegas, you were saying? Um, it's... I wonder what happens if you don't spin, like, while you're in that little hole. You just fall off the level, or... Then L Luigi is beaten to death, actually. I don't know, he might just fall into a black hole, which arguably works. He has a limb forcibly removed via hacksaw. Sorry, but... Ah, I see. I don't remember that Wiggler being in the original level either. No. And I don't remember that midpoint flag. Or that mysterious trap door. There's so much wrong with this. My immersion. It's a pretty sweet flag, though. It is. I will sweet. say, yeah, that is pretty boss. Yeah, yeah that's pretty ball. Pretty ball. -a. Wish they could have done that with the Mario 64 textures. So you're getting all six stars in this? There's two stars right now that we can get in this particular level. Mm. But I think total, I want to say there's six. There might be. Hmm. Hmm. Have we have we talked about that feature yet? I don't know. I haven't been watching videos. We've alluded to it, but not outright said. Okay, right, and I will continue alluding to it. Yeah, suffice it to say, there are more stars to come back to. Later. That's not canon yet. That's true. I see. So here's where you fought the Womp King in the original. Uh -huh. In this version, he's very antisocial. Yeah. He doesn't like you. He kind of, he knows the drill, I think. Mm-hmm. Whatever. He's been experiencing this since 1996. Oh, oh dear. He's also quite a bit weaker. Yeah, yes. that was pretty lame. <laughs> Some throwback this is. But this wasn't here before. Mm, no, not the giant hole to the other side? Also, not sure how that fall worked exactly. All right. Mm. Oh. So I think this guy might be the real king. <laughs> oh, so that was just a pretender to the throne up there. Yeah, Andy has to pee. The crown does look more, uh, more legit, honestly, than the other one. Right. Mm. So do those teeth. <laughs> uh, you know those uh, hillbilly fake teeth you can wear. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't, but. Yeah, because you have those teeth already. Oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, sick. You're the Womp King. Si sick burn. Let's play. Um. So this Womp King is much, much bigger. That's, yeah, that's got some size to him. Yeah. I think the visual indicator's a little much. Yeah. It's like, they don't think much of you, apparently. <laughs> subtle, subtle. Oh, right. oh shit, oh right, I forgot he made babies. Yeah, he's got little Womp Babies. That's adorable. That killed himself. <laughs> to be fair, I think he was about to slam onto that one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> See, this is basically the Queen Thwomp, and you're in her hive. The Womps are no strangers to infanticide. Clearly. A Womp, excuse me. I can never keep track of which is which. Being Luigi here is good, because if you're up in the air when he does his little quake thing, then you won't get stunned. Mm. Oh. Fun fact. He just teleported to the middle of that level. <laughs> Luigi dragged his writhing corpse <laughs> over there and let him have his final words. <laughs> Luigi's tough. Did he have to use the, his final words for that, though? <laughs> I would say the same thing. Oh, well, actually, that was much better. Dig, damn it! <laughs> I'm dead, <laughs> motherfucker! Oh wait, <laughs> doesn't make sense. <laughs> kind of. No, did. that's when you come back to the level. Mm. My escape. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Absolutely. So that star was in the tradition of climb to the top, just like Mario 64, a true throwback. Yes. But there's more than one star. They should have called this shit Rerun Galaxy. Oh, snap. Yeah, take that, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, whatever the fuck your name is. <laughs> That's it. Take that, buddy. So we can progress to that onion galaxy over there. Mm -hmm. Hazardous materials. Oh dear. Hey Luigi, do I creep you out? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that guy. Yeah, I think everyone does. Oh, looks like we've uh, snuck a bomb onto this airplane. <laughs> oh no, Whoa. too soon, fix. <laughs> Sorry, face plane. Hey, I brought weapons! <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Hello, Akbar! Luigi, no. Yeah. Oh no, Luigi. Luigi, I don't think you should wear that power suit. Luigi's trip to Saudi Arabia really fucked with him. Oh no. Oh damn. That's a little 24 reference for anybody there. Yeah. Oh. So this guy's alluding to a secret place. Oh yeah? 
did the red text uh, hit you off there? <laughs> red text means something's up. By the way, hint you off is a really, like, dirty thing, just so you know. I mean, red text is already pretty steamy. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you think's the second star? Uh, chug a can of throwback Pepsi as fast as possible. Shoot yourself into a wall. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Or collect silver stars. Either way. Oh, very, very Mario 64. Yeah. Silver stars are the red coins. Mm. Basically. Only much simpler and usually are very close together. They're the replacement for Bitcoin is the idea. It's a fiat currency. That's the silver right. stars. Right. Let me tell you a little about the blockchain and my friend Please Satoshi. <laughs> Alright, go on. How many gigabytes? <laughs> I think they're up to 50 gigabytes now. <laughs> that's okay. I saw like earlier today the price is insane and that's hilarious. Insanely it's, high or low? Just everything about that. <laughs> So you invested? Oh, obviously. But buying it now, because it can only go up, up, up. Absolutely, yeah. If it were a throwback thing, you could do 64 Bitcoins. Oh, Whoa. snap. Oh, yeah. That's how many you should get. Ooh, I almost missed that one. I can tell already this is going to be pretty tough. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they do a pretty good job at scattering these pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I, could, I was going to say this is going to be an actual challenge, but then you got the cloud suit. Yeah, then <laughs> right. kind of, it's kind of stupid. You could pro your way out of this without the cloud suit, and I bet somebody will show that off. Some person. Oh. Actually, what do you think? All those silver stars with no cloud suit possible? Hmm. You're asking me like I have any idea. But the I only have vague memories of where these all are. Although that one right there might be a little difficult. Without the cloud suit, yeah. Mm. Mm. You can do that long jump thing and then do that ridiculous spin jump spam thing. Mm. Anything is possible. And then again, I don't know how you would avoid the cloud yeah. on, the, on your way back. Mm. Unless Mario can Prince of Persia his way through those walls. It's definitely possible. There was a star over there. Right. What brilliant AI they programmed. What kindly advice they programmed. Oh, he even tells you again. Perfect. <laughs> so do you guys think Nintendo looked at this stage and thought, you know, this 3D land slash 3D world thing could be something? Probably not, no. I, I don't think that has anything to do with it, honestly. Don't think there's any future in it. Th well, does this make you want to play 3D world? I'm, I no. don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to be a jerk, it just doesn't, you know? I, I do want to play it, just not because of this or anything. But not enough to invest in an entirely different console for it. I, I still have yet to pick up the major the three consoles. Yeah, I still gotta get uh, in on that. Yeah, still believe everybody has to pick a side. Uh, it's the only way it works. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys follow webcomics, but there is a Console Wars uh, series going on on a certain oh, webcomic. That's the worst icebreaker. <laughs> I don't know if you follow webcomics, <laughs> Clink Glass. It's actually how I open most of my conversations with people. That's what I do at work, actually. That's good. Anybody have a favorite three-key Windows thing to reboot your computer? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> that's still going. Um. And there's the fifth one. Oh, that is well hidden. I would never have For a World that. 6 star, this is actually one of the easiest ones, I think. Mm. Like, even compared to the earlier ones. Yeah, we're pretty far in the game, aren't we? Yeah. It's pretty simplistic, but I guess this wants you to just have fun, enjoy the throwback nature. Yeah, it wants I hear you, you to be like, hey, I remember this game. It's, yeah. it's kind of the wonder years of Mario levels, the thing. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you landed right on that one. Yeah. Finally. Pretty smooth, huh? Damn. So smooth that it's gonna be the end of the video. Oh, nice. Damn, that's smooth. <laughs> Just like that throwback Pepsi. Yeah, no. Well, yeah, when you put your best foot forward, things get done fast. Throwbacks are nice that way. They mm. are. I love throwbacks. Forever. Let's just keep making the same game. A throwback! Hello, Akbar! <laughs> <laughs>